self-care day. Hey guys, hey beautiful people. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle and you are most definitely welcome. <laughs> Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, like this video, and comment down below how you're caring about yourself today. Um, so I have a bunch of things on my agenda today, y'all. I have a couple outside appointments that I want to take you guys along with me. And I'm going to do some stuff at home to just kind of spruce up myself, you know. Self-care is an ongoing thing, I think. Um, Self-care, self-love, your self-love journey. And today I'm just going to do a couple things to make me the best me that I can, okay? Um, I have a Brazilian wax appointment um, that I'm gonna go to and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I don't know if I'm gonna actually bring you guys inside, but I'm a little nervous about it because it's my first time, so. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna get my hair washed in deep condition and I'm also gonna get a trim because honey, split ends underneath here y'all don't want to see it y'all don't uh, no i'm not gonna show you guys no <laughs> you're gonna be scared okay and then at home i'm just gonna do some face treatments because my skin just needs that oomph. i have a microdermal abrasion tool that i'm gonna use um again i used it last month and i liked it but i think i needed to steam my face more so i'm gonna do that again today and I'm also gonna do some face masks, and then I'm also gonna do my nails. And the best part, I think, is I'm gonna do my lashes myself today. Um, I'm really excited about that. It's just a little DIY at home lash extension um, that I get to do on myself, and I'll show you guys the results. So come along with me on my self care journey okay and hopefully if you like any of the things that i'm doing you can apply it to your own self-care routine and we could just be self-care queens okay so come along with me and i hope you guys enjoy the video bye so i just got out the shower and washed my face and i'm about to start using the microdermabrasion tool that I picked up from Marshalls. I will also leave a link down below. The tool has three settings and I use it on the lowest setting with the smallest nozzle for sensitive skin and daily use. I really like this tool because it leaves my skin super soft afterwards. You'll also see that some of the areas get a little red, but I promise you it doesn't hurt or anything. It just happens when you go over the areas multiple times. You can see the stuff coming out of your face. It's so weird. Oh my god. Next, I'm just going to prepare my skin by steaming it and spraying it with some toner from Dermalogica. And the mask I will be using is from Sephora. This is the zinc mask. Um, I use plenty other masks as well, but this is the one I'm choosing for today. And I like to leave this mask on for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it dries. While it's drying, I just do some other things around the house that I need to do. And then I go ahead and wash it off and prepare to start my day. Guys, oh my god, <laughs> honestly, on a scale of one to ten, it wasn't a ten, it was more like a maybe like a seven, six, maybe no, it was like a seven, seven point five. I would say, I was on that table sweating, I was like, Jesus, I think I was more nervous than anything, and also it was just awkward. You know having someone all up in all up in your business um but yeah child i almost collapsed on that damn table not really but i'm just dramatic it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't terrible it was very very um doable but damn 
it hurt it, and don't let nobody lie to you saying it doesn't hurt it hurts but it's doable um so i'm about to go home um probably switch cars and then go to my hair appointment i took my hair out that's why i got this turban on i'm just gonna get my hair washed and everything um i was supposed to do the lashes and stuff beforehand but i'm gonna just do it afterwards so all right next stop hey y'all i just got out of um my hair appointment i got my little deep condition and blow dry and i got my ends trimmed she actually didn't cut that much off because um she would rather have it like straightened so i need to get a silk press really but yeah so i'm about to head home and i still have oh my gosh i still have to do my lashes and my nails but that should be fun so i can't believe i didn't do it already i actually kind of forgot that i had to do that but we're still gonna do it because you know today is self care day okay um so yeah i'm gonna go home i'm gonna probably eat and i will come back to you guys so now it's time for my lashes and my nails i'm using some that i picked up from the beauty supply store so this is the first eye that i'm doing and i'm gonna show you guys the second eye I will link the lashes and the nail sets that I use down below or at least a similar version. Um, for the lashes, I will say that it was a little bit difficult at first until I finally got the hang of it after a few trials. But there are tons of tutorials throughout YouTube of other people doing it. So I'm sure if you wanted to apply this to your self care routine, you could certainly do so in a few easy steps. So I'm definitely gonna do this eye over this was my first eye and it was a little hard getting the hang of it But this was my second eye and this looks much better. I don't know if y'all can see it But I'm gonna def I'm gonna do this one over and I'm gonna come back to y'all and then I'm gonna do my nails So now for my nails, I also picked these up from the beauty supply store and a similar version will be linked down below. But I really like press-ons because they're just so simple and easy to use and they don't require as much of a commitment as actual acrylic nails that you would get done in the nail salon. Um, so I like them because I really cannot do anything with long nails, but I do like the look of them. So I like to have them at my convenience, so I do them myself. So these are the final look. They're really cute and really simple. And that's what I love about press-ons. Again, they're just super easy to use and so convenient. So I couldn't end this video without sharing one of the things that I do very frequently as a part of my self-care, which is journaling. I definitely would recommend it for everyone to apply to their own routine. Um, obviously you peep the Moesha music, but this is definitely something I do. I especially like to do some devotionals at night and write some prayers down and just, you know, thank God for everything. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe and like the video and comment down below what you do for your self-care routine.
Bye, guys.